Hey folks, welcome to the channel. I'm Captain P. How are you today? Hope you're doing well. Today is part three of uh, Mom Midnight Suns and I am so glad that you're here to enjoy. So sit back and relax. Let's continue on with the story of Marvel's Midnight Suns, shall we? And please don't forget to like, share, and like, subscribe, and share. I would really appreciate it. Um, links to my Twitch pages down below in the, dis uh, in the, in the, below, in the, in the box below. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sorry, stutter. <laughs> anyway, you have a bit, a very good time. I. I know I will. I'm gonna get started here, right? Now. Not to be the nagging old lady. And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived when he did. No kidding. Caretaker would have been pissed if Venom had actually eaten the hunter. Yes, one disaster averted. But we still need to figure out how to get Wanda and the Sanctum back. Not the outcome I envisioned for our first mission together, but you know what they say. Any mystical battle you can teleport away from... Given my situation, for now I suppose this truly is my home away from home. Not bad, Hunter. Not bad. Not the outcome I envisioned for our first mission together, but you know what they say. Any mystical battle you can teleport away from. How goes it, Hunter? Or is it THE Hunter? Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing, what, 70, 80 pounds of chainmail? On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid 6 out of 10. Don't worry, you'll get there, with a little help. support is appreciated. Oh, no problem. I already got a few ideas cooking. You're not allergic to mimetic poly... You know what? Never mind. Why spoil the surprise? I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides... No one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here, other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill.
I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. Horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. I'm Tony Stark, but if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, Aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man Rule. so happy then. journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. There was never enough room for my armor in this thing. Stop her! Only I can stop her! 
Three hundred years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the Forge. I think he has another present for you. Girl, Charlie. <laughs> Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. <laughs> Something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo. That explains so- Heard you had a nightmare. In the words of Akami Ito, don't be afraid. Bad dreams are only dreams. I'm a vampire. I see everything. <sighs> this is gonna be a fun apocalypse. Caretaker's never exactly been bubbly. But the last couple months, she's been in a real bad mood. Hey there. Let's talk later, Hunter. Tony will start pouting if you keep him waiting too long. Ah. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The Forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. 
Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing... Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two are such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. For our first collaboration. I still think it could have benefited from a cloak. You think everything could benefit from a cloak? I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. It was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. So it is a marvel, then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? It might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than Eye of Newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. <sighs> At least they did before everything changed. But you and the doctor seem to work well together. Well, no need to put a label on things. The guy is good at making sense of this madness every now and then. He's not talking to his cape. must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military-industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. I was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. I guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I?
Seen anything strange around here? What, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, magic cats. Was it suspiciously elusive, even for a cat? Actually, yes. Thought I was going crazy there for a second, but clearly I'm still firing on all cylinders. It just poofed in next to me out in the yard. Small, black, furry. Cute little thing. Probably some kind of shape-shifting monster knowing this place. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Welcome, Hunter. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? lost much yesterday, Doctor. I am the one who should be asking you how you are feeling. I appreciate that, Hunter. I admit I did not expect the child of Lilith to have the capacity for such empathy. And you're right, of course. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired, the sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was... is... my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am... Determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. A creature on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. My 
mother has a gift for bringing out the worst in people. Yes, and in this case, I happen to be the direct victim of her ambition. I fear the Sanctum may never be the same. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago involving Agatha. I feel like everyone is avoiding mention of Agatha. I can't say I'm surprised, but I'm afraid it's really not my place. You should speak to Sarah about her when you're ready. Tell me about your Sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you've encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Santorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. Will the wards ever provide the same protection that they had? It may be possible to undo the damage, but now that a weakness has been exposed, I'll have to rethink my approach entirely. Tony did offer a military-grade laser protection grid, should I be so inclined to go that route? Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? No problem. How does this look? How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard.
Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. I learn faster if I understand the person who trains me. I can respect that. Go ahead. Can I ask about you? I guess. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. How did you become a Dampir? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart, and that's why we let her. Anyone else? Tell me what you think of Sarah. Well, there are few people I tolerate, even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. I am surprised she commands such respect. I'm surprised that you're surprised. You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Who else? What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people. Easy going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Who else? What do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? at her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Anybody else? Nobody else. Sure. Do you 
have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training, we doing this, or are we gonna keep wasting daylight? I am ready to train. Finally. Practice makes perfect. Not everyone wants my advice, but they're gonna get it either way. Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like the way you move out there, Hunter. Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. But you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie, going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. If my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. Not as persuasive as I, Captain. I said you can call me Carol, and I wouldn't bet on that. You just woke up from a 300-year nap. You've never seen me go binary on someone. Binary? I don't want to spoil the surprise. Find me in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh, and Hunter? Welcome back from the dead. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The Gamma signature is... Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. The Gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. 
If the Gamma signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> we should be able to track this new Gamma signature to its source then, right? I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chum. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. A creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. Just recently that the Hudson Yards Development Restoration Association purchased this entire block. I'll let you think about that one for a minute. Let's see. Trench coat, sunglasses at night, brooding personality. Something tells me these midnight warehouse raids are pretty normal for you. Very. This area in particular? Occasionally. Good for a late night snack. Oh. The falafel place down the road stays open till three. Oh, right, sure. Only maybe next time say it less vampire-y. We're going in from the rooftops. Not that it means anything to either of you. Just don't fly off without me. Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse. So we'll be patching Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower once you reach the other side. of this place you seeing this Bruce getting all sorts of weird down there yo on a fan off I heard he was dead well hoped is perhaps a more accurate description calls himself Faustus now Hydra's resident mad scientist not just Hydra's Liliths. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I'm gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. 
kill them. His fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. That's a neat trick. Face shield. Weak, even for Hydra. about enough of this. You really want to keep doing that?
I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right? stabilize the rate of decay within the particles themselves. How else could he be achieving such a high yield? I don't know, Bruce. I'll be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the That's one hell of a move. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. still be breathing. Position compromised! Go ahead. Give it your best shot. Perhaps Faustus's device is worth further study. If you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you and your supernatural associates not... Smash it? Yes. Coming back to me. Go! Now! Quickly! 
Go, go, go! Ah, the perfect opportunity to field test mother's device. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that thing. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversary instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? Brave or just stupid. Going to get you for this. That's still not going to be enough.
Nice job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament, tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously. Especially in fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say. All work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on. You should hang out. I... should rest. Another time. Let me see. How did this work again? Okay, well, I think I will call it a night here. I will be back tomorrow tonight. I'm sorry about extending the time, but I had a muscle spasm to take care of, and I needed to get up and stick and walk around. But everything's okay. Please forgive me. Um, I will see you all tomorrow for part three of, of my mom's Midnight Suns. Thank you so much for coming and clicking and watching forever how long you do. I really appreciate it. I know that 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 it's hard to to sit and and watch a long gameplay but I thank you very much don't forget to Follow and subscribe to both the Twitch and the YouTube channel if you want to. Links to the Twitch channel in, are below in the description. Uh, and, and links to the YouTube can be found on my Twitch chan channel. Until tomorrow, have a good night, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.